Um, my name is uh, my name is Kareem Iskander. I'm a lead technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certifications, and I believe you came here because you're interested in uh, learning more about Cisco U. So, who's here? That and this is not Cisco U. What I have on my screen. Uh, who's here familiar with um, Cisco Digital Library? The learning platform for all the CCNA training and that you see from Cisco. No? Okay. No problem. This is even better. Okay. So let me <laughs> let me see if I can find my slides. And you're gonna have to bear with me here because like I said, this is not my session. So Cisco U is uh, Cisco's latest uh, learning platform. It's basically um, all of our tech e-learning into put into a new modern experience that we have built for you, um, basically to allow you to and guide you through content that you need to upskill on. So we it's, we call it Cisco U, and it's tech learning shaped to you. And the reason why. It's tech learning shaped to you is because we're, we've built it to meet today's demands in the IT workplace. And so we did things like we brought in um, network automation and we built an entire path for you because one of the things that we, um, we learned from our customers that it's really hard to know where to get started from or in, when you, especially when you're looking to upskill on a new, um, a, a, a new technology skill, right? And so, um, we were able to actually have a couple of things for you. I'm going to actually dump the slides and I'm going to show you Cisco U, okay? Because this is, I don't want you to spend your time learning about Cisco U from a marketing perspective, but I want to actually give you the real tour of Cisco U. So if we look at Cisco U itself, what we've done is we went out there and we we're like, okay, what is it that is the hurdle for you today when you're learning? A lot of us were like, I'm after a certification that I don't know how to get started. There are so many resources out there for that certification. I know we have blueprint for every single set for every single certification, but I don't know what what do I need to study and, and invest time on, right? The other uh, uh, another group of people that we talked to were like. Well, there's a lot of technology. Cisco is not just focused on Cisco products anymore, but rather solution-based uh, products where we're integrating, we're bringing in uh, cloud integration, public cloud integration, we're bringing in Ansible, we're bringing in Terraform. Like All of these are not Cisco products, but they are part of the Cisco solution. So what with Cisco U, what we've done is we said, okay, we're going to go out to the experts that know about all these things that are not Cisco, and we're going to do adjacent technology and bring that all in within one experience. So when you're going out there into Cisco U and you're looking to say, okay, I want to know about hybrid work or I want to know about hybrid cloud, you're going to actually have a tailored learning path that teaches you about all of the different components, including bringing in adjacent technologies within that learning path. So we're not only serving Cisco products, we're actually going out and integrating with third-party content providers. Uh, we're, we're, and we're, we're partnering with uh, folks like Microsoft and HashiCorp to bring in their training within one area for you. Okay, so when you get into Cisco U, a couple of things that you should note today about Cisco U is it's not public. However, Cisco U is um, on early access and all of you can actually go to next door right here and get on the early access list and you'll get free access to um, all of our great content and what, everything that I talked about here. So when you get into Cisco U, there's three pieces. You got the For You page, you got the Explorer page, and you got the community. And these are pillars that we wanted to essentially build for, for you within Cisco U. So we wanted to have that tailored experience, that Netflix experience where I go watch a, a show and I Netflix learns about what you're interested in based on your profile as well as based on the content that you've seen so you can get recommendation with some type of AI ML underneath it. So we have incorporated AI ML within the platform itself where you can go in here and tell us on the for you who you are so I could go in here and say, as soon as you log in, you'll get prompted about, just build your profile. Tell us who you are, what you do, and what you're interested in. And so 
here's my survey, my onboarding survey. What technologies are interest to you? Uh, I know I like software, networking. I want to learn maybe about cloud. And next, skills. Am I a beginner? Where do I live on the stack? And you can skip it, but I know I'm somewhat at intermediate level. And then next, what is certification? We are certification based, right? So um, if you have a certification in mind that you're trying to accomplish, maybe DevNet Associate is something that you're after. Um, you've done a little bit of automation, but you haven't done much um, to get you ready to DevNet Associate. So I can pick a certification level, and the system itself will learn about you and tailor the content for you on in your recommendation here. So this is my recommendation engine based on the what I've done. And I have an, an existing profile, so you see more than what I've selected in the profile previously. But notice how, because I said I'm interested in software, now I, I got a learning path around uh, EN Core automation, right? Or uh, CCNA. So if the, a learning path essentially is uh, a guided journey that we take you through to accomplish a certification, to learn about a Cisco solution, or to learn about a Cisco technology itself, right? And so let me pick on, um, I don't know, programming for network engineer. This is a learning path. Uh, post March, this is going to be actually something that you uh, could use CLCs to purchase and membership uh, subscription to. For today, it's all free for you to access. Just get on the EA list. And within a learning path, you have a couple of components. You have tracks and you have courses. Each track contains a list of courses that's going to guide you through an exact same topic of what you need to learn. This is not something new. We're just getting better organized on how we present our great lessons that you've done with us for a long time. With the ability to have a recommendation engine and AI within the learning platform itself, what we could do is actually pinpoint on your skills from within the learning path. So we understand, and I, I'm, I know this myself when I'm trying to uh, pursue a certification or pursue anything uh, in general, it's, it's time consuming. Like, it's a second job just to upskill on top of our day-to-day -day job. So I don't want to learn about the stuff that I, I already know. I want to learn about the stuff that I don't know, right? And so with the recommendation engine for learning path, what we've done is we, we have the, the, the idea of a pre-assessment and post-assessment. So we're all used to the post-assessment where we go through training. At the end of the assessment, we take some type of quizzes that quizzes us on what we've learned in the previous chapters or courses. That's not new. What we've done is we have pre-assessments for you to take prior to diving into a learning path. And so with the pre-assessment, it would allows us, allow us to uh, level your, or measure your level of knowledge on that specific topic. And what we're going to do is, based on your correct answers, we're going to move these courses that are not relevant to you because you already answered them correctly, which means you know the knowledge that you, we're going to be teaching you. We move these courses to optional and reduce the size of that learning path for you. So we're trying to be efficient on how we're teaching you things. And one of the things that I'd like to point out that this is, to me as an engineer, as an automation engineer, is labs. It's really hard to find actual labs for you to practice hands-on. I could go out there, read content. I could go watch YouTube videos that's going to teach me about things. But no one is actually going to provide me with a sandbox to do it um, unless I have my own equipment for me to practice. And so all of our learning path come with hours of labs free of charge, part of the subscription that you can actually go in and get hands-on real hardware that with Cisco hardware that you can practice against. So this is, this is the For You page. We, what we wanted to do also from an enterprise perspective is bring in cohorts. So we know, we know from an enterprise level learning path um, the ability to be able to connect with your team to learn together and see and somewhat compete and maybe a ask questions and answers um, based on what you're trying to ups upskill as a unit. And so uh, we've brought in the community um, pieces within Cisco U, uh, the community piece that we have at learning a certification within Cisco U, where we're going to track the communities that you're involved in, uh, the forums that you're involved in within Cisco or a Cisco learning network, and we'll bring that all in together within Cisco U for you. Next, 
The last thing is Cisco U is not just a subscription. You don't have to pay, but we have a lot of content in there for it to be a destination for you to come in day to day to learn. So we have learning podcasts that we release monthly. Um, we have webinars, technical webinars that are actually free of charge that you can join to learn out of a specific topic. Um, we actually take requests of what you want us to teach you in the forum. So if you have a topic in mind, you maybe you want to learn about SDA and you're trying to dabble into that and you don't want to, you're not ready to take an entire, invest in like 47 hour course, um, we'll do a webinar for you to just teach you that and a live webinar. The one thing that I'd like to point out here before I let you go and open it up for question is, we also understand the moment of need learning, which means I don't, sometimes I don't want to have like Google, right? I don't, I don't want to have to learn about a, the entire product, but I, I already know the product, but maybe I'm stuck on DNA Center site automation. I want to try to spin a site automation using uh, Python and uh, DNAC SDK. I don't, first of all, I don't, the last thing I want to do is go out to Google and search because there's so many confusing resources and code that doesn't work. Second of all, I don't want to traverse an entire DNA Center course and learning path just to know how to leverage that SDK. So we brought in tutorials. Tutorials are basically bite-sized learning, part of the Cisco U platform that are built by our advocates, myself included, and our uh, VIPs to basically um, allow you to come in here and learn for 15, 20 minutes a specific topic, which is what we're calling moment of need learning, as well as document use cases for Cisco products and non-products, right? So some of the things that you could expect here to see from a tutorial perspective is, you know, one of the things I wrote here, uh, deploy your first Kubernetes cluster using Terraform, right? We hear about this all the time. I don't want to invest 47 hours to learn about cloud and Terraform. But this will give you enough to be able to understand what is Terraform, how do I do my first deployment, and everything that you need in order to, for you to successfully do this on your local machine. All of this is with your Cisco ID, so you'll never be charged for any of this, and we're constantly building this content to help you out throughout your upskilling and your career. Okay? Cool, so this is Cisco U in a nutshell, with, in a nutshell without me being prepared. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions um, that you guys have, may have for me. Yeah, good question. Go live is March 28th. So GA, so what's going to happen is from now until March 28th, you get on the early access list. Once we go back home, um, we'll allow you guys to access the, we'll provision you guys to, to access this. Actually, I could save you the trip if you're interested. I have the QR code from my previous session. I can pop it open for us here. Scan this if you want to get on the early access list. <laughs> and with that, thank you for your time. I'm here. I'm going to be next door. If you want to talk about it more, I'm happy to present. Thank you. Thank you, guys.